Welcome to this episode of Face Islam. We're talking about the subjects that are facing Muslims every day, everywhere. One of the things that we see in the news, what we see on the internet, what we find on the YouTube, are these stories about how Muslims are ready to go out here and blow themselves up or kill themselves, so they're going to go to paradise with 72 hoochie-coochie girls or some kind of dancing girl, something going on there, and they make it sound like that. Wow, look at this. The fact is, this is so far away from Islam, it's pathetic. Muslims are encouraged, of course, to sacrifice for the sake of their beliefs. But this is not different from any other religion. A good Christian, and we know from history of 2,000 years, the onward Christian soldiers is the clearest proof of all the song that's endured ever since the time of the Crusades. We know that people are willing to stand up and die, even be martyred for their beliefs. That's not new. But to make it up and make it sound as if it was to go out and just hurt somebody else so you can get what you want is the opposite of Islam. Because Islam is about giving rights, and if you obviously take somebody else's rights, that's against Islam. And the story about these 72 virgins, let's clear that up, okay? The numbers two, they're called Huri, that's one, Hurlane. The, the Hurlane are big eyed, they have big eyes, and they are pure. They are untouched. I want you to listen real close to what I'm going to say to you. They are untouched by man or jinn, literally. They do not have menstrual cycles. Therefore, you can pretty much start thinking that in paradise you're different. From other stories and narrations we have from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we find that even you will not be the same in the next life. You will not have stool. You will not go to the bathroom. The food that you eat and consume is not treated the same as it is in this body that we have here. The body you have in paradise is absolutely perfect. You don't do things in the next life that you do here. Hello, pay attention. Figure it out for yourself. And the bodies of others are not the same either. They're perfect. And you don't have children in paradise. You don't ha a lady doesn't get pregnant and have a baby in paradise. So what does that tell you? Are you thinking it yet? Is it, is it registering? I hope so. The idea of the 70 is for someone who dies in the cause of God, fighting against evil, fighting against the tyranny and oppression that all of us are witnessing in different places today. So the one who believes in God and is doing that for his sake, according to Islam, would be rewarded with 70 of these hurlane. We translated that to English as virgins, but it gives a different connotation to somebody who has sex on the brain and they're only thinking of one thing. They haven't realized that what this is talking about is very beautiful, pure, peaceful women. And listen to this. In the paradise, there will be one who will come in to wherever the man is and he will see it, and he will think it's God, so beautiful, so divine, that he will literally fall to the ground in front of this wonderful, wonderful thing that he's seen. Then it says to him, get up, what are you doing? Don't you know who I am? I was your wife in the earth. On the earth, I was your wife. What? Yes. So we find that the wife that the man had here is more beautiful than all or any of any of uh, these women that we've been talking about. If you understand that, you can get a better grip, I think, on the real subject. Paradise is something really wonderful, a great place. 
And it is not a place that people go to get drunk. It's not a place that people are going there to hang out with the gals and do whatever. That's not the idea behind it. It's sad that people have reduced something so wonderful and beautiful to this kind of tabloid mentality. And I want to encourage you, Muslims, our youth especially, to stay away from that kind of thinking. In fact, stay away from those tabloids too. Pornography is another subject we've talked about before, and I really hope that you'll uh, abandon anything like that that you're doing and stay away from these ideas of shortcuts to paradise. There are no shortcuts to paradise. It involves working, being educated, taking care of family, worshiping God alone without partners, and being a productive citizen in your community. That's what real Islam is about. Not about blowing up people, not about hurting and damaging other people or taking anything away from them. In fact, that will guarantee you won't ever even see paradise. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us that he is against anybody. On the day of judgment, he will be against anyone who was oppressing or hurting the people of the book, the Jews and Christians. That's face Islam. <laughs> Da 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 da